Do you know this struggle? You need to find a file or an application on your laptop or computer, but this file is submerged in the dozens and dozens and dozens of subfolders that you created in the past because you are a smart and very well organized cookie. Even if it only takes you 10 seconds and you do this 10 times each day, after 10 years you will have spent 365,000 seconds with that, or 6,083 minutes, or 101 hours. That is a lot of time just to open a file. There must be a quick way. And there is. In this video, I will show you what Vox is, how to use it and where to find it for free. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel Striving For. If you are striving for a better and happier life, then this channel is for you. Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Hendrik and I'm an international social auditor based in Germany. Consider subscribing if you like what you see. Let's dive in. What is the Vox Launcher? Vox is a free launcher to access programs and web contents as you type. So you don't need to take your hands off the keyboard and to your mouse every time. Vox is a Windows equivalent of the popular Alfred software for Mac. So if you use a Mac, have a look at Alfred. Honestly, I did not know I needed this because how much time does it really take to open a file? But it really adds up as we saw. So, this simple productivity app will speed up your workflow and as a consequence will save you precious minutes every day and with that hours within years. How to use the Vox Launcher? It's very easy to use. When you have it installed, you press Alt plus Space, which launches Vox. And then you simply type in the name of the folder or file or program you want to find. If the file you want is not at the top of the list, you can just go through the list, click it and it will open. If you search for a particular folder, file or program more frequently, you might want to have it at the top of the list each time you search for it. To always make it appear at the top, simply right click on the file and then set as topmost. You can also copy the path, copy the whole folder or delete the folder with this method. If you do not want to have this file or application at the top anymore, simply right click it and then click cancel topmost. The cool thing here is that you can not only search for folders, files or programs, you can also directly search via Google. To do that, simply type in G plus space and then what you're looking for, then enter. I want to see some great tits. Perfect. You can also search for different colors, which will then be displayed for you. I guess this is useful if you are really into colors or you really need to see how the color looks for some reason. Where can you find the Vox Launcher? Vox is open sourced and therefore you can find it easily at GitHub. Just follow the described steps to install the program and done. If you want to adjust the layout, you can also easily create own themes with color, size and fonts to match Vox to your desktop look. In addition to that, there are a lot of plugins that you can use. For instance, for YouTube. After installing this plugin, you can easily search for a YouTube video or YouTuber directly via Vox and you can even create your own plugins. But that's going to do it for this quick overview. There's of course even more to discover. So let me know in the comments below if Vox works for you or what kind of alternative you might use and why. If you got some value out of today's video, go on and smash that like button and while you're at it also destroy the subscription button as well. Thank you. If you already did that, here are your balloons. If you want some more, check out this video right here. I'm sure you'll enjoy too. Keep striving.